Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. Recently, OpenAI's co-founder and former chief scientist Ilya Sutskever made quite a headline when he said that we don't have any more data for which we can train our models. According to him, we have achieved peak data and there will be no more. Primarily what he is saying is that we already have consumed all the data which is available whether it is organic or even synthetic data has reached its peak compute is growing we are having more and more um, better more performant hardware we have better algorithms we have larger clusters there is more know-how in the community but data is not growing which is primarily the fossil fuel of ai in other words what it means is that now we would see that all these models uh, will plateau unless we find something new when it comes to pre-training and even I would say fine-tuning. That is where I believe that a lot of companies will be focusing that now instead of pre-training and fine-tuning the models, the focus will be on extracting more value out of these models. Maybe people will focus more on making um, agents more solid more autonomous plus we are also going to see a lot of improvements and innovations in terms of the ecosystem around these llms so the focus will shift away from these llms having said that still there is a huge need of having a proper data which could be fed into these llms generating a data set in order to fine-tune or even pre-train these models is still a job of select few and it is not as democratic as we would have thought that is where when i stumbled upon this tool called as llms.txt this seems quite interesting in this tool what is happening is that you can turn any website content into a single text file and this is primarily geared towards retrieval augmented generation. For example, let's suppose you have your own personal website. You want to train or fine tune a model on your own data, but you, and all of your data is stored in your website, but you can't really simply throw that website into the LLMs. You first need to maybe scrape that website. You have to extract that data. You have to pre-process it and then you can use it. That is where this tool, which is called as Firecrawl, seems quite handy. Now, it is not a free tool. It is, uh, let me, let's wait for it to load its website. It takes a bit of a time to load for some reason. Anyway, so you see, uh, it's not a, a free tool, You but you can play around with it by having some sort of free credits. By the way, it's not a paid advertisement or anything like that. I'm more interested in this tool, which is called as LLMs.txt. And in order to use it, I would suggest that again, that you go to this website, which is firecrawl.dev, sign up with your free email account and get free credits. And then one, and then you will also get an API key, which you can put here. So, and I will drop the link to this website, llmstxt.firecrawl.dev, which lets you convert any website into a text file. That can be then fed into your LLMs, your rack pipelines, and there could be a lot of other use cases. For that, first thing I would suggest you do, <clears throat> you just click on this use your fire crawl key and then enter that API key which you have obtained <clears throat> from the site which I just showed you. So let me put in my key here. So I have set my API key and then maybe I'll just go to my own personal website, which is my personal blog for a long, long time. And maybe I'll just click here on this page. I want to convert it into this text file. I'll grab this URL and then I'll go back to this LLMs.txt. I'll paste it here and then I'll click on generate. Let's wait for it to get generated. And it is extracting and I'll let it run so that you know the speed. So you see it is extracting all the elements of that web page the title, description, and all that stuff. And not only you can use it through this API key, they also have um, API through, I think through JavaScript or Python code, you can simply do the extraction. So let's wait for this one to finish. And there you go. It has generated this text file out of that website. So 
primarily what it is doing it is uh, this llms.txt generator it is transforming any website content into a single text file that can be used anywhere it is built on top of firecrawl api and i believe open AI's gpt 40 it uses firecrawl api for web crawling and then gpt 40 mini for text processing now you can also use this standard llms or you can use the um, full one too so maybe i'll just click on show llms dot full so you, there you go it is telling me some data from this website i can also copy it and then i can use it anywhere i would like also for some weird reason it is also again asking me for my api key set which i uh, it is already set but it is, there you go it says it's not complete please enter a firecrawl api key to get the entire this okay or i could get the access full file by doing this curl so maybe i will just copy this and i'll go to my terminal and then i will grab it and i will show you what happens this is simply a curl command which we can get and i would need to put my api key here again let me do that so this is my ubuntu terminal i'm just going to clear the screen then paste it here now let me put my key here and press enter and i will show you the full file whatever it looks like so i used that curl command and that gave me this where it says that um, it has just given me the title of my blog posts and bit of a url and that's it so what one thing you can do is that if you see it in the url it is a url of this llms txt and then i have given it it has given it my url of my website if i do full here as per their instructions let's wait for it it should generate full content instead of or at least some sort of description instead of just titles and urls let's wait for it to come back there you go you see it says that uh yeah so there are some google ads which are blocking it which is fine and then it is giving some other information okay no so it, this page has been blocked by the extension okay because it's a blogger website so maybe that is why maybe i'll try another one then i'll just use mandible or maybe i'll just go here sorry i'll just reload it and then i'm going to set my key again and i'll give it another website now i am using this in another website which is called as mandible.ai and now it is just going through all the urls so let's see what it does here and if you go to the website they also say that they only access the accessible one so if there is any extension or any login i don't think so it is going to work with that okay let's wait for it to generate this and there you go <clears throat> this time it has produced a better result it seems it has not only given the title and the url and then some sort of description there looks good and you can copy it and then you can use it and as i mentioned earlier not only you can use this but you can also mention it here in the url and then if you do the full it is going to do some sort of full web crawling and full scraping which you can use readily with your api call so that's it i will let it run i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think and if you have been following my channel you might have noticed that i have covered a lot of other web crawling tool with ai there was agent ql which we covered there were a lot of other free open source tools um, there too so feel free to search the channel if you are interested in using some other alternatives if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you